Man, we back with another episode from the Gunshot State Podcast. I'm your boy, he, me. Come to find out. Mr. 305. <laughs> and you already know it's your girl, Cool Ass. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. And I got two special guests right here Where we do have, uh, you already know Your favorite podcast, Homeboy What'd you say, what's your boy, Young M.O.E? From the King Talk Podcast Make sure y'all go like, comment, and subscribe And we do I gotta, we do have a special guest for today Y'all have seen her on our show before For the real ones, you know the real ones, the You know what I'm saying when we, when we first started, when we was at the crib You know what I'm saying, doing our thing Our homie C now, man, what's popping? What's going on, man? Big shock in the building. You had no time to do it. What it is, my nigga? How you feeling, man? You all right? Good, man. Oh, oh man. I appreciate you pulling up, man. For sure, bro. Anytime. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a minute, dog. It's been a minute. You said you, uh, you, said you probably would have been at the, uh, the game uh, today. Yeah, man. I don't be missing no games. And it's the first. Like, this is season opener, but... You know, I gave y'all my word I was going to be here. So wow, I appreciate, we appreciate that. What, what is it looking like? Who, are, are the Jaguars winning? Are you losing? They're not nah, winning. They was definitely they, getting oh, Okay, so, so right now. it's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm tracking shit over here right now. <laughs> it's okay. Man, I'm about, I'm, I'm about to track, track my prize Hold picks on. in a second. Shouts out prize picks, man. I got man. too much shit going on. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, watch yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, man. So, on that note, Key, how was your week? Hey man, my week was blessed. I woke up alive every day. You know what I'm saying? Made a bag. I had a bit of a rocky schedule this week, but I made it through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, nothing too shabby. You know, just chilling, still getting kind of settled in. Still gotta find shit for the spot. You know. Yeah. Um, broke out that uh, broke out that dab, that red man. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. how you blow. Yes, sir. Definitely enjoying that. You know what I'm saying? That was my housewarming gift to us. So definitely um, enjoying that and stepping into a new lane in the stoner game. You know? Yeah. This um, nigga here, real stoner. For you real, feel for me? Real. Uh, Jazz bought me a, a, a Lego set. Uh, I was definitely hyped mm. by that one. Expected that. I got the uh, sword and hat, and that's probably oh, like yeah. the uh, yeah most exciting set thus far. It talks, you know what I'm saying. You press the, the tip of the hat, and it it, it A says, Lego set. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. A bit far. Yes, sir. Thirty one different um, sayings it has. You oh, know. I need to get into that. Yeah. A bit far. Well, this, you, this, this make this you gotta like, catch up with her. Yeah, this makes it like, like number six or seven for me. She up. <laughs> no, I, I ain't been to Lego store because I feel like that I'm gonna spend my spend a check took, in there. Yeah, I took my son yeah. there one time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I've been yeah. to Lego Land, and that's definitely a lot of inspiration I told her, there. I told her because you're gonna get mad at this when she get done with the Harry Potter shit. She ain't gonna have no choice but to go ahead and just go to Star Wars and do the Millennium oh, Falcon. Bro, That's what's gonna really make me want to do it. Yeah, because <laughs> then I'm gonna really be wanting to do it. I'm not going to Star Wars, bro. I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, <laughs> and to to get to the point of only Star Wars sets being able to be done is a long journey. So. Okay. Yeah, no. Nah. That's probably gonna be the first road I go on. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Nah, nah. But um, other than that, you know what I'm saying, Mo? How was your week, bro? Um. Just moved into my new spot Tuesday. It's moving season, bro. Yeah, I met my son, just moved in. Um, really kind of just got settled in yesterday. You never know how many clothes you got and shoes and shit till you move. Bro, me and Key was just me and Key was <laughs> just talking about this shit, bro. Basically, this we shit understand. I got on. Y'all speak for y'all, so. Basically, no, this shit I just I got said, on, but we were talking. Like, I understand the importance of spring cleaning. Dog. You got to throw shit out. You got to get rid of stuff. Because when it's time to move. That that laundry load is crazy. When it's time to move. That laundry load is crazy. Y'all watch that show Hoarders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that shit. That shit is crazy. (laughs) That shit is disgusting. (laughs) Disgusting. That shit is horrible. If you live like that, you ought to rot. You out of control. I refuse to go out like that. That's out of control. I've been keeping it stupid neat, like. Mm-hmm. I did. I had the spirit of every black mom in me this morning. I jumped up, threw mm-hmm. me on some R and B, cleaned everything. I know that's right. Chill. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Set up my little gaming area, my little streaming area. Shit, it's all good now. Nice. Yeah. So that's about I'm all. I'm a minimalist. I had 
very little stuff to move. Um, I clean and, and, and declutter probably about every six months, for real, for real. And, uh, you know, uh, with that. Yeah, but that was about it, man. Now I'm finna really get this mold report shit going. Um, do me some little late night, yeah, little okay. streaming and shit. You know what I'm saying? You just passed through that one. Well, then why I'm talking about y'all got it. Right. <laughs> you know, this is this is like regular. For yeah. Y'all. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to get all the streaming shit set up. That was my most important thing because I'm about to go hard on the content now. Like, mm-hmm. every, like I done got into anime because of Mav ass, so I'm about to start streaming, watching Mav that shit. Mav made it happen. Mav made it happen. Like, oh, really? I'm going hard on the anime, so. Yeah, a lot of streaming, a lot of content coming for me. That's about it. See now, how was your week, man? I think I could um, sum up my week in one word. Productive. Oh. See, here's the thing, though. One words don't work on podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I had a productive week, man. A lot of um, power moves being mm, made. Mm-hmm. A lot of networking. Um, yesterday, uh, OG Magnum came came through. Y'all know who OG Magnum is? Nah, is? inform us, please. Um, so OG Magnum, so y'all remember the video uh, applies in Kodak Black when Kodak was locked up, the real hitter video? The old white dude was in the video throwing up the hearts right, and everything. Right, 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 right. That's OG Magnum, so that's that's big bro, man. Um, I was actually, a little history for y'all, I was actually the first person to ever book him here in Jacksonville mm. and bring him to Jacksonville and show him the vibe. And um, we did a little show out there at Nighthawks and turned up real bad out there. And um, ever since then, we just built a relationship. So anytime, you know, I've been helping him uh, doing his booking and everything like that. And he's an older cat, so I always try to look out for him when he's in town and make sure he's good. And uh, he came through yesterday and um, put a little work in with my people over there at Oxford Ink Tattoo downtown. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just, you know, bridging these gaps, you know. So, uh, you know, it's been a productive week, dog. What's up, man? How the Sharks doing, man? Phil, Baby Shark. Everybody. What's up with the team, man? Man, the team good, man. You know, everybody just, you know, life be life, and everybody getting they, getting they grind on. Okay, getting okay. Getting in the mix, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I just took the initiative, you know what I'm saying, as a CEO, you know what I'm saying, to make sure BSE be on the map, you know what I'm saying? So I just been kind of, uh, I don't, people, I don't want to say being selfish, but sometimes you kind of got to, just understand your role and your position mm-hmm. and just do what you need to do to make everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So, you know, so, but yeah, the fam good, man. You know, it's all love with everybody. You already yeah, man. know that. Tell niggas what's up, man. Sure, you already know. Yeah. Yeah. And for there to pull up, man. You we know, pull- y'all, I, I done pulled up by myself today. You don't never really see that. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, we, last time, I was, we were supposed to get, uh, what, what shorty name is? Uh, Ari? Uh, the young, the, the young shark. Uh, to Amaris. Amaris. Yeah, yeah. So Amaris, she um she done transitioned into a whole new realm. She she doing um she doing more of the she not doing the secular music no more. You know what I'm okay. saying? She done Chris. She done um gave her life to God and everything. She doing her thing, man. She no, I like that. She in New York right now. I know? like that. Yeah, and um, you know, but we still, that's you know, that's family. And uh, I'm I'm with her a thousand percent, you know what I'm saying? So that's dope, she finna man. drop some new stuff though, but it's 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 finna be on that type of time, you know, the Christian vibe, you know, giving that praise to the Lord as as we should. So You already know. I'm, I'm, you know I know I'm behind it. Right, Shouts out to the Sharks, Phil, uh Baby Shark, all of them out with For sure, now. you already know. Uh shit. How was your week, man? Uh my week was productive as well. Me and my wife getting into this house, man. Uh we started um Congratulations. We start same. I'm saying we just moving. Man. It yeah, wasn't a house out. Yeah, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But we started uh, couponing this weekend. You know what I'm saying. So we really started getting into that, man. I've been, I've been finding deals and steals. I got shit for the shop. I got to bring it up here because first off, we ain't got nowhere to put it all right now. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that 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 has been a real good thing to get into. Uh, Shit, we got. I got to slide to JC Penney's to get these towels. Trying to tell you. <laughs> you got some coupons, some towels. No, JC Penney got a deal going: buy one get two free. Buy okay. one get two free. What? 
Yeah, you I, get, I download the app and shit. I ain't get my little ten dollar coupon thing. People in the people in the comment been saying that they said it, it did come, but some of them said it didn't. But you can go get the ten dollar towels and get two more towels free. Oh yeah, I got to go down. Yeah, I ain't and sad. all sizes. Oh, you can get twenty dollar towels and get you know what I'm saying. So. Yeah, I, we just been on some on some on some real old people shit. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. I love it. We been on some real old people we shit. All, nigga. We all gonna benefit. Yo, why trying to you save yeah. money? That's good, uh, <laughs> nigga. This this some shit. I I took the initiative on. Yeah, this ain't sure green. That's good. Oh okay. <laughs> hell <laughs> yeah, nigga. We, I was all in Dollar General yesterday, scanning Dollar General uh uh UPC codes and shit. Nigga, I think I probably. Probably paid like twelve dollars or some shit for that was forty dollars at one point. Mm. Shit was crazy, bro. Damn. I was like, damn, it works. Right. <laughs> I was like, Eureka. Yeah, <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I did want to talk about how a nigga tried me at work this week, but oh. mm. it's under investigation, so I don't want to talk about yeah. it yet. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't, you don't recall. Yeah, I don't he recall. He was on the right. podcast. And <laughs> yeah, oh my God. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna let that be first until he get his ass out of there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, man, we did have a real eventful week, man. We do have our homie Cena. Cena, let's gonna sit in and uh, kick the shits with her. She do have a lot going on too. We gonna uh, we gonna talk about that uh, as well. Let's get into some real shit real quick. Uh, the, uh, the bullshit. Real quick, when I, as I should say, so we can start off with Kendrick Lamar at the Super Bowl. How y'all feeling? Fuck Kendrick. Oh shit! Oh shit! This a Drake stand right here, so. Oh shit! Shit, it's still up with her. I'm kind of in the middle. It's, she gonna be mad at me. It's still up with her. It's Drake fault. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. We ain't get. You gotta slow walk the dog. You gotta slow walk the dog. <laughs> You got to slow walk the dog. So how do we feel about Kendrick being in the Super Bowl? We don't have a problem with that, everything. Nope. I mean, I'm not from Louisiana, so I I mean, I feel like what he's doing right now, you know, from whoever perspective that's in charge of that, they probably looked at it from that perspective. But at the same time, as far as Lil Wayne, and I saw that too. Right. That makes sense too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on the fence with it. But I, you know, I got, I got West Coast ties, so I, you know what I'm saying? But my question is, was Wayne an option and they just picked Kendrick over him or something? So, or what? They just feel like it should have been Wayne because it's in Louisiana. That's what the argument is with a lot of people, that it's Wayne and it's New Orleans, so it should have been him. Yeah. But my biggest thing was that we talked about on King Talk Podcast. Make sure y'all tune in. My, my thing was... Everybody mad at Jay-Z for this. I can't be mad at Jay-Z until I see the list of eligible artists. Now, if Wayne name is on the list, cool. I ain't mad at Jay-Z. If Wayne what? name... Because you know Rock, Wayne, Rock Nation is... Rock Nation put the name on the list. Rock the Nation is over. From the names that they get him. Uh-huh. So Rock Nation come up with this criteria and if the artist meet doesn't it, Jay-Z hate the NFL? Shit. No, Rock Nation is over the half. No, Rock Nation show. is over the half. Did he have beef with the NFL at some point? No, he just partnered up he, with them. They partnered up. Like they, yeah. they, they are part of the same. And like we talked about on the show earlier, I mean, a Kendrick performance would be better than a Wayne performance. And I'm a Wayne fan. But Wayne's performance wouldn't equal up to a Kendrick one. And we just got to be real and honest about it. I mean, Wayne just doesn't suit the Super Bowl. Exactly. You know what I mean? His, his music, his vibes. I mean, yeah, he has that uh, fan base or whatever of the same demographic, but uh, performing at the Super Bowl with all these restrictions, don't they? Can't have no cursing and all of that. Like, I mean, how many Wayne songs is he really not cursing at? <laughs> and, like, you know, they That's changed true. my mind earlier because I was kind of like, man, I want Wayne, but after what they were saying, I mean, name me the Wayne songs he can sing. See, okay, here we go. This ain't King Talk Podcast, so we can do that. <laughs> I mean... It don't have to be just one song. Like, niggas just don't do whole songs, I bro. I said songs... I niggas just don't do it. whole songs. Okay. Name them. So you can, so you can do the hottest verses that he has. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, like, but see, Mav was saying earlier, like, uh, why we got to go back to... 
like the 2006s and over. shit. Yeah, you could do a verse from We Taking Over, rip that bitch in with God Did, you feel what I'm saying? A Millie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this shit, man. I'm just saying. I mean, Bring out T Pain. You Is know what I'm any saying? Of that shit hotter than Not Like Us. See, that's the whole thing. Wayne ain't. No, I just. I, I no. Just, no, because so that's the so that's the audition part about when we say when you say put your name on the list, that's what you got to do to put your name on the list. You got to have a buzz going this whole year, or it's like it, it's like it's like an audition of, of of some sort. You know what I'm saying? Audition. It's like how you get nominated for a Grammy. It's, it's your performance. Like you you the the performances like, you have been doing is what have you done for me lately? If you if you familiar what's going on in the West Coast, it's real war over there. And I I personally have a you know I'm personally involved like I know what's going on over there, and what Kendra doing right now he got people speaking that wouldn't normally speak he got people in areas that wouldn't normally be there, and I ain't gonna touch too much on it you know what I'm saying but you know so I feel like that's the main part of it too because it's bigger than just the Super Bowl like you got people not point. dying. Because of this This movement This movement You feel what I'm saying That's the like niggas are like, Even if we not Totally squashing the beef We gon We gon We gon go to Kendrick video We gon Support You know Giving back to the kids We gon You know what I'm saying We gon get along For this Moment You know what I'm saying I Just think because Drake was talking shit I think <laughs> <laughs> And it made it Big ass movement Right I think the other part About it is too Like uh, With Like Wayne just felt Entitled That it was put Like like he say We just felt like Because it was in Louisiana And niggas thought It was just supposed to be Wayne Which was Like we are saying It goes back to management And putting your 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 person of interest In the best position To do this shit Nigga Usher went on This whole two year run And knew that the Super Bowl was going to be in Vegas when it was in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? He had that residency in Vegas. Yeah. Extended the shows to get his shit popping. You know what I'm saying? And, and dropped the album. Mad shows out there. I was out and there. That the was album. last year. That's, that's putting your name on the list. Auditioning. That that, that that ain't no, oh, this is the people who who, who we think I'm should do this. That's putting like your name on the list. You get nominated. You know what I'm with saying? Your performances. So yeah. Wayne ain't been doing that Leading up to it You're right Kendrick had the year bro Look at the last five videos On his YouTube channel I posted that bro And it's diabolical This is why I keep saying it It's diabolical this, The Hunky. numbers Numbers Hunky. We always From Wayne mouth himself This and is I diabolical love Wayne. Numbers I'm, don't lie Wayne is a legend That nigga I love Wayne Wayne in my top five I love you We would have saying? Half the rappers we got now If it wasn't for Lil Wayne and Everybody Floyd. wanted to be Wayne Everybody wanted to be Lil Wayne in some way And it branched you off To saying? all different types of I formatted my Chalky Yellow Tape mixtapes Off of his Sorry for the Weight mixtape See what I'm saying every, mm. every beat he did I did See what I'm And saying? I wanted to do it better So it's like You know what I'm saying Cause he slid You didn't even want to listen To the original song mm -mm. Fuck the original song, but he not. But Wayne not doing that. But he not right doing that now. no more. You know right. what I'm saying? He he's not that. And Kendrick, with this year he just had, what you gonna do? Then I saw a song he said where he say he kind of he don't even remember half his songs no more. Yeah, they was dropping little mm. clips of that shit where he and not remember the lyrics. The Super Bowl. He records so much shit, and he don't be knowing them. You know what I'm saying? Be his lyrics and stuff. But if he go do a show or something. He had to look at the song, you know what I'm saying, relearn the lyrics and shit. And, yeah, um, before shit. he do it. Look at this shit, bro. Dude. I mean, well, we already know what we're going to get with this Kendrick shit. Like I think Mal said earlier, you he know he's going to bring the though. HBCU out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now we, we highlighting the Orleans, HBCU. It's in New Orleans, got to bring the second line up. So now we highlighting them. So now we putting a line In Black on the History HBCU. Month. What, what what song is he doing with the second line? Not like us. Not like us. Every band over the country Every band. Not like us. Get over it. Every band. Yeah, that shit gonna go crazy, bro. This gonna go crazy. So we not mad about Kendrick Lamar uh, doing the Super Bowl. Hey, man. Business is business. I look really at it as a business yeah. move. You know? All right, the other biggest topic. I'm still mad at Drake, though. <laughs> 
it's Drake fault. He says it's Drake fault. If Drake wasn't beefing with, if Drake yeah, wasn't beefing with one, uh, <laughs> with Kendrick. He's still getting paid. <laughs> he's still at the top of the charts. He's still whatever breaking records. Yeah, he, it's his year. It's, 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 it's whatever his whatever the case Nothing has changed. So it's like everybody winning. So it's all, it's all, it's a win-win. Wayne, well, stop assuming you should get it. I mean, when it was ain't in New Orleans died. five years ago, you didn't get it. Is, nope. is Wayne the one that's, that's, at this, that's having an issue with not getting, or is it just the fans he and the said, people? He, no, he can't, said he can't. Like, he can't. I, 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 I think that was too, yeah, I think that was too much, bro. I think he you gotta relax, bro. You, think so? go you gotta relax, bro. Bro, done, I'm bro. I'm broke. I'm trying to put myself back to kill. Man, get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of he here, bro. Like you, like, of, like, like, like they just said when when the shit was in New Orleans five five years ago. It ain't break the, you then. Right. Now you, now you broke. Come yes. on, boy. Now that is true. But the see, Super Bowl, the Super Bowl has been there eleven years. It was Beyonce then. So now we dealing with selective outrage. Beyonce from Houston, though. Now we dealing with selective outrage because you wasn't mad. But then, you can't go but against Beyonce. But I ain't exactly. Can't but go can't. against Kendrick right now. He the king right now. He yeah. he he he. Beyonce, some, that's a different platform. Yeah, she's yeah. Uh, yeah. she, she, she is over Kendrick there by herself. Can, I don't put her in yeah, yeah, she, she, she over there by herself. Like yeah, man. The uh, the, bit, the the next biggest thing going on the internet. That was good. Uncle Shannon. Yeah, uh, get you some of them rolls. Uh, that's my Michelle. Yeah, put that, that back in now. <laughs> put that back in. Oh, 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 it was, it was nigga, just the bear noises. It. it was the bear noises. Big girl looking ass nigga. Like, what the fuck? I love it. I ain't never went live on that. I don't know. I love it. And I don't think it was staged. I do. I don't. You want a nigga get, to get up off you with them gay allegations. I think, I think so the you female could have. Okay, so put it like this. You had the, he don't look uh, like the type of nigga that like keep them. a lock on his phone. He's Shannon Sharp. He had... A hundred to two hundred million dollars to lose because of that video. Yeah, I don't I'm know not nobody finna on this shit. planet yeah, I'm who not finna, finna drop a shit. sex tape and <laughs> yeah, risk a hundred to two hundred million. <laughs> when you say that, or, 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 or whatever it was, he's so private. Private people don't do. But like they say, you gotta hit two buttons for for live to go. Man, we all done. Yeah. We all yeah. done. They ask you, do you want to go live? Man, we all done. Are you sure? You had to open the app, it had to you click the button, and so, you had to confirm that you wanted to go live. So he had, you mean to tell me throwing it so either you threw the bed that phone on the bed, so that bitch did that? Michelle so, did that so shit. So what so on his live, because I, I went and watched Michelle did that shit. I went and watched his um his video he dropped the next day about it. Hold so up. basically Oh, okay. He did hey, the confirm. My man. phone wasn't hacked. It wasn't a prank. <laughs> Came in, I threw my phone on the bed, gazed at an activity. I did not know IG Live. I've never been on IG Live. I've never turned IG Live on. So I don't know how it works. All of a sudden, my other phone is going off and people are calling me FaceTime that I've never talked to a day in my life on FaceTime. And it didn't, I'm like, why are y'all calling me FaceTime? Shannon, you on IG Live. What am I on IG Live for? I ain't hit no IG Live button. He says, uh, they can hear. And now I'm starting to get agitated. I said, hear me doing what? He said, it sounds like you were having sex. Man, my heart sank. It dropped. Five minutes before I came on, phone ring. It's Cat. Cat Williams. I said, yeah, bro, what's up? The first thing out of his mouth, guess what he said, Ocho? You ain't gay today? <laughs> hey, listen. I said, man, so, hey, I said, listen. come on, Cat. So, uh -huh. so I just want to, before we go. So that was, so we, that was your, first off, I want to know, is that what you were talking about? No. Okay. So them, those are clips. I watched the full video. So on the video, he said he was on his IG live before he was, you know what I'm saying, doing what he was doing. Why so he was, I mean, he was on his IG. Shit. He was scrolling, he don't scroll, he don't fuck with IG live. He said, but he was looking at his IG, just scrolling through it. So when he was getting ready to As do it. As you walking in the, in the hotel, in the room to get into we all, some pussy. We, we all a slave to our phone. you walked straight into the door and got to yeah. it. Yeah, so you mean to tell me if, if you was... Get in a room with a girl on the way up to the hotel. You went whip your phone out and look no, at your phone on the elevator. No. Or not. Okay, well a lot of people would, but I mean we are slaves to these devices, so we do whip them out at random moments all the time and look at our social media. We all guilty of it. So 
like he was saying, he might have been looking through the IG. That shit hit, hit some buttons. We all done pocket yeah. dial somebody. I mean, that's easier to call but somebody. But pocket dial is on one push, like one yeah. button. I mean, we that's all done that. It's like opening up the app. Up, open so it, girl. Come going on to now. the live, like you have to click on it where it says live. Exactly. So we all agree that pocket dialing is real. Then when you click when it says live, call the, the little somebody blue button comes up to say, are Mitch? you sure? Missing calling you ready somebody to go off the live. call. Then it do a countdown. Yeah. And then, but with pocket dialing, you hit the button one time, right? Yeah. Who's to say that when he when the button hit, it hit again? No. And if there's no end into it, if, if you can, but I'm just saying, spot, just check not me not out though. If you can pocket dial and you can hit the phone, who's to say you can't hit it numerous it times if there pocket. is? If a nigga say no that shit was wet, then you ain't got no. Uh, if, if my phone wet, that do all type of shit. All I'm saying is, I, I, don't, I don't know, know nobody who no would. I think the female did it all. I don't know if if it was a rumor about you. Like, let's just say they was like key feet stink. Would you risk a hundred to two hundred million dollars to prove your feet don't stink? How no. can I prove my feet don't stink? If I, I'm I already a hundred, two hundred dollar million, I, I, I was just yeah. making anything. I was no. saying it short. Like, why would I? I, I why would I, I already risk? got the money? Yeah, why I don't would care. I risk? I don't care to disprove that. His house is a hundred million dollars. That's what I'm saying. So why would I risk all this money? I got my own because media company. Because his house is a hundred million dollars. He can. Day. You know what? He can what? You, you, you know, can know take you can maneuver risk. around this no, shit if you had No, nobody gonna take the risk of a hundred million. Yeah. I mean, it ain't, he ain't risking it I ain't gonna to gonna that say degree I would, with And you know he. He worked for the he, he worked for the, his man. He worked for the and mouse. ESPN said he good. That's what I'm saying. He worked for the he, mouse. He had to protect his manhood. He was sick of them goddamn gay allegations no. and, and everything. Else. I mean, no, you can't say that because guess what? That really don't disprove us, man. That that's really don't what disprove I'm it. That's, that's you don't see it with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't, don't see if it was a man or a dude or, so, or so female. You don't know. You, 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 you still don't know. So that don't that don't protect it. That don't protect that point. Here's the thing. So he still could be so still to do that and risk all that. He had the real they, proof. He, he had he a, has an endorsement pill. He has uh, endorsement, endorsement pill. He has an endorsement by by bone yeah, pills by uh, Rose Sparks. Oh, that could have been a commercial. Ching ching. Alright. Okay, I ain't know that. So now ching, he, ching. he just dropped the commercial. He just dropped the early commercial. I don't think what they paying. <laughs> It's close to 100 to 200 million dollars. Yeah, but guess mean, what? But if, 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 I'm if, saying, look at all of what this man got to lose. Hold on, but if having, I mean, but if, if it was a risk for him to lose that deal with this deal, why would he enact in that deal? There's not a sponsor that contacted him that is worth more than him risking his company. He's risking his whole Shay Shay Media. Forget the, forget the sponsors. I don't care about them. I'm risking my, my business doing this. I'm risking He's that. Not, That's why he said 100 to 200 million. He, his know, personal business. For that type of money, you know what type of lawyers he has going over these contracts and everything else like that. And there's nobody that would have approved for him to take a deal with a damn, uh, what's, what it's called, bone appeal or some shit. <laughs> if it was going to put him at risk of losing these other fucking bon, endorsements. Bone appeal is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't what it was called. Yeah, I mean, no. that's what it is. The pill endorsement been going on, though. <laughs> huh? That's what I'm saying. This, this ain't listen. nothing new. Like. So why would that he even be offered a $100 million deal with that already no, going the on pill if it company, was a problem? No, when he said 100 to $200 million, he's not talking about the sponsor. He's talking about his company Ooh. is about to make that much. So why would he risk... The, okay, let's say they giving him a million dollars why would i risk doing that to keep their sponsorship and fuck up me getting a hundred million with my own it would have been dropped off before he even had a chance to the the for anything it, before that, that would have even never been a collision that would have never been on the plate at the same time if it was that big of a risk okay bro. key why these things are why would i risk my company to try to do something to boost this company that's the question i'm asking you would you do that would it you it is it's not a risk if to if boosting this company if i'm already a part he, of this deal i'm brand. already representing no, 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 no. this yeah. anything i do with this so, is it, how could that risk any so, other money so if, if that's I'm the ask, case i wouldn't even be representing this to any degree if, so, if, 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 I, if, if i am endorsed by nike why the fuck would i wear reeboks in, in, in the game if they just because they're gonna pay me a hundred million for I don't that, think shit. that, that don't correlate to what I'm saying. Exactly, you're not gonna have that type of collision no, of deals I, okay, on so, the table, so, bro. Okay, okay, check this question out right here, Key. Would you risk your company for somebody else's? 
If it we was going to be a problem, if I, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. He are, I already had this. Okay, so if I'm already in company A, right? I and, just, I'm, and I'm about listen, to get ready to listen, make 100 listen. to 200 million. Right, if I'm already in company A, right, and company B is ready to pay me 102 million. No, 100, see, you got it, you got it backwards. 100, 200 million. That's not right? the scenario. My company is about to make 100 to 200. Dollars. Okay, that, but company that sponsor A ain't gonna pay me no one near there, that. But company A was already no, no. There. My company was already here. My company was here first before anybody came. No, no, it's I'm so confused. So you, you are company A. Yes, I am company, you company A. A, and you're already in the works of giving a, the 100 and 200 million. And then this company comes along. Why no, he do? said that company Bonapil was already there. He no. had that. Yeah, he already had that. When I say he already had that, the company was already developed. They were a sponsor who just came on. They just came on. So why would I risk you fucking said with? He already had that. I'm already. They ain't just came them, though. You know they only saying? been there. Already, I'm already on, on payroll for them. Because remember, he was talking about Viagra first. He was talking about the blue pills first. Then he started talking about the red ones. That's what I'm saying. I'm not risking my company to endorse another company to make it look good. I drop a sex tape, it make the sex pills look good, but yet my other sponsors like I'm, Pepsi I'm, and all this other I'm, shit gonna I'm drop. Fuck me. the damn sex pills, then it's all not right. gonna be. I'm not gonna have any ties to it. Right. Nobody so dropped them. Need... Did anybody drop them? Everybody said he he's, was good. No, he, he good. Know, he no, good. Put, in the show, he That's said all, he's talked man. to his he lawyers. Do all like that. In his show, he talked to. He said he been talking to his lawyers, and it's still people that could potentially back out. They can. So and, he and could they, lose money and, from that. And them potentials would but have been So I lose three sponsors. They gonna lose more than him. I lose three sponsors to keep problem. one. Club Shay Shay is the hottest shit out right now. How, but it, but, how, but how it's on the verge of being to drop in trouble. That's what I'm saying. This sex tape could get it. He could get backlash from it. And that could potentially Other fuck up that. Other situations, people have been dropped expeditiously, right? You hear I think the bad ass would have already been. I think the bad ass would have already been. I think the bad ass would have already been. I think the bad ass would have But it's a different scenario, though. That shit think it's over. Yeah, this isn't been is over, but the man still say he got lawyers really, open on the shit. Ain't really, now it's ass, like nah. now it's like he it's done got a whole different audience. Cause now I see some of the little younger chicks on my timeline yeah, tuning in. Like, well, I'm finna go fuck with uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know what I'm, I'm going to every so, game. I'm finna be at the halftime. Uh, talking that Skybox shit. Yeah, yeah, and that's cool. But what about the ones that do back out? See, y'all just talking about they the pros. They would have done it already. It's pros and cons. They would have done be crazy. it already. You don't know what's going on pub behind closed doors, though. It, okay. They would have, it, as public that's as true. that right. situation was, they would have made sure that they, if they we don't even know the name of the lawyer, them, so that's pretty private. They would have dropped them publicly to make sure they ain't had no ties to that. Let's talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. And I think it's really, like, what um, Kamala Harris and Kamala Harris sh and Trump should be talking about. Tory Lane got all his music and stuff took taken from well, the jailhouse, bro. Take, talk about some real fucking. They took shit. all them. They took all the recording you stuff from uh, Tory Lane. <laughs> That's a crime. Wait, wait. <laughs> Open it up about the fucking president. But his Canada. engineer did the damn thing. That album that was, was that shit was sounding like. They trying to take That's his money crime. away from him, of course. I mean, because they say he's helping people who been wrongly did and open back up their case with the with the funds that he's funding from the music that he's producing. So he's doing good with the music, I mean, with the he money. He was rich before he went to prison. But now they the can continue like making decade. money. He can't spend it on clothes and shoes and jewelry and all this other spend shit he's using makes. right now. Shit, I'm Thomas gonna said, can't free team. the bros. Hey man, lawyer fees, free the bros. Hey, for me, shout out to Tori. For me, I don't know which camera I'm on. I might be on this one. This one, for me, That's free the music. Talking to him. Free the music. That's all I get. That's all I get about. I mean, that shit was sounding good. Free the, <laughs> free the music. Give me some more of that shit. <laughs> Free the music, man. I think that's fucked up. Uh, Fantastic. I'll take fourteen of those right now. Uh, James Earl Jones. Oh, rest in peace. R.I.P. Who? Oh, oh the, uh, for the uh, rest Star before Wars us. man and mm -hmm. Lion King man. Okay. They said that it's the uh, Mandela the effect that he been dead already one time before. Oh shit! Oh shit! They for real. It's when one of the most it, prominent it, it, voices it, in the game. If you if you if you you know search his name. It's gonna be videos that come up saying that it, he's part of the Mandela effect. That he this no. for sure had done that before. Okay. 
I know, rest in peace, James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Tyreek Hill's body cam footage came out. Not good. I ain't see it, so I ain't going to speak too much. Okay. I heard that they you say kind of provoked me a little bit. One of the top bit. artists of this generation, period. Oh, uh, no. Hate this. Cam, of this much generation, much. period. Oh, no, this ain't. Why is Cam talking stop. about my shit? Huh? Well, the body cam vintage did come out, and uh, it was egregious. I don't think he provoked anything. I don't know if y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that now. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm gonna I keep it one thousand. I ain't gonna say like that. Being a little sleazy over here. Gonna, he I ain't I'm, gonna say I'm, that. I'm, First off, he played for the Miami Dolphins. Shot. That's why you so saying what? that. I feel like he lucky he didn't get shot. De- he lucky, boy. If he was, well, if he was somewhere in one of them country towns, he probably would have got shot. Try to add when in the small town up and with the fishes in the round. Come on, bro. You they can't let that. You can't do that, bro. You wouldn't have made it to that game. I'm not saying they should have done that. Stay on that side. Stay on that side. Hey, hey, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, don't do. Don't leave. Don't do. Don't do. Don't leave. Hey, don't. You talk to hey, one of the other players. Don't. Hey, your buddy's about to go to jail. If he hey, don't move. do. Don't leave. Don't do. Don't leave. Like, I was there too. I'm leaving. 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 I'm Can't do that. Can't do that. You can't just do shit to, to get them going. You know, even and though we know they fucking with like, you. Because he was in front of the stadium too, but it's like we know they fucking with you. People don't know bro. that you right at that moment. No, first off, first off, he's in a lane that's designated for players and staff of the get uh, of oh, the stadium. Oh, he was. Yes. See, I didn't know that part. Hmm. The lane that he was driving in was designated for Miami Dolphins players I mean, and staff. And he's in a car that res- resembles well, that somebody might change the that type but of he's still, the still, though, don't put the battery in their back. They ready. To, bro, they already they ready. They already on that. You they shook, bro. You shook, bro. I ain't got... I, I, first off... I'm first not, off, we're not saying he wrong, bro. Before first you, off... Before you first steam off... No, 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 no. Stay right there. First off, I'm Tyreek Hill. I'm finna put my window up because I don't want to see everybody getting me getting pulled over. It's gonna be a spectacle out here. I'm trying to save yeah, it you. That's true. And you ba- and you banging on my McLaren window that costs more than what the fuck you make. No, stop beating on my shit. Okay. <laughs> stop yeah, beating on my shit. Okay. But look, and did y'all see? I saw an article where it said the uh, officer that had him in the in the neck hold. He he's did. Been suspended like six times or or, or four excessive force. He got a history of that. Uh, the way they handled him was horrible. That shit was horrible. Very bad. It was yeah. horrible, but all we I'm said glad is didn't shoot him, don't give them a reason. I'm when they pull that. us over, they already they be oh, looking bitch. for the small they be looking for the smallest love. Any Wait. reason so they can say, Oh, I oh he did that so I could Bro just you get, have, if just give him the shit and just yo, give bro, him the shit. You have the right to put your window up. Just it's give okay. Him the shit. You okay. Can do that? Yes, you can put your window up. It's okay. After Even you give it because he had Listen, he had I don't think you got obstruct their vision. It, maybe his tent was too dark. No, 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 bro. Bro, once you, once you, once you're pulled over, you and they ask you for your for your license and registration, you give it to them. They, you say, hey, what I'm being uh, charged with? They tell you. You can put your window up. You ain't so got to talk was no he more. Asking him to take it down again because they because he was being the tyrant. No, I'm asking. So, so he, he just history was, that too. So he just it was like, put your window down. No, I'm asking. I'm dead shit. Like asking. Like, he had, why, he had, what, he had his license been? already. The window was down. So he, he, had so like he gave him the crack. license. He had his license already. He put his window he, back up. And then he, and then he wanted him to put it down I'm again. Ty, I'm Tyreek Hill, bro. It's people walk. It's people riding by. I don't want everybody seeing me uh, getting and getting pulled over. Lane. I'm in the lane. Hey, you see that big ass building over there? That one right there. That's from the whole seventy thousand people in about two hours. They here to see me. 
Bro, get the fuck out my face, bro. <laughs> fuck wrong with you, man. I ain't never looked at him from no. that perspective. I didn't know he was in the player lane. Yeah, yes. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Yes, no, right there. That right, there. right. That big building right across the street. The big one. <laughs> I just saw the one. Stadium, but I ain't know it was like an actual name. Yeah, it yeah. Laid it for that. Yeah, because if, if you ever, if, if you ever, because uh, the street on towards uh, that the stadium stands on is like literally a highway, but it's not a highway. Okay. It's still four lanes, but we don't have. It's like it's no sidewalk. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So they're going on that street. Them cars is going. Don't get it twisted. Like, but it's but it's not a highway. It's still like a major street. Mm-hmm. Hey, Tyreek Hill, you right. You are definitely right. Trick Daddy said it best. He's still a nigga, though, bro. So they're going to do what the fuck they want to do when and they want to do it. History. If you give them the small... Bro, I hate Tyreek. crackers. When I was younger... Man, fuck that shit. What you pulled me over for? Woo, woo, woo. I'm, well, I'm lucky right now I'm not dead from that shit. No, you, I that was wrong. Now. That's I don't give wrong. A fuck who I, here got my license, here got my registration. I'm not saying nothing else. I'm not going to give you the reason to take me from my family or to pull me out this car, to choke me, stab me, punch no. me, spit on me, whatever. Stop beating on my window. First, stop beating on my window. Let me let that bitch down. Like hey, bro. Hey, let me let my window down. Stop beating on my window. It's, hey, this is a McLaren. With the flashlight. Hey, bro. You, bro, you know how much this costs? Hey, bro. But he ain't say that. But I'm, 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 I'm telling you what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on. You know how much this costs? Let my window down. Hey, bro, you know how much this car costs? Hey, don't, matter of fact, call your sergeant. Because I don't need you beating on my window like that. Like, you can handle that shit without putting the battery in his back. All them crackers wrong? Yes. Or giving him a reason. They definitely like, wrong. Right. But we should not and give them the reason justified. to. Don't give them the reason, bro. They, 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 they wrong. They wrong. I'm, I'm on Tyreek's side. They wrong. They don't wrong. give them the reason to, to make a spectacle of us. Don't give them the reason. Hey, bro, don't beat on my window like that. Matter of fact, call your sergeant over here. I don't like the way you handling me right now. You see this building right here? My name, now you can pop your shit. My face is on the side okay, of it. Okay, but get, get in a line first and then <laughs> pop your shit. Yo, bro, though. turn around. You see my Don't let the window down. Look, <laughs> look, bro. But don't, but don't let the window down. Hey, motherfucker, what the fuck wrong with you? Don't let down my motherfucking. What the no, fuck? No, you're man? beating on my window. Don't don't be aggressive and give him the reason to do it back. Hey, don't beat on and my window. Mo- and if you want to be technical, we can go in. We can go into the code of conduct where the state has deemed, Supreme Court has deemed, uh, language is not a thing of aggressiveness. You can say what the fuck you want to say. I'm, I'm with to all be honest that. with you. I'm with all you that. You can say what the but fuck how you want to say. We done seen proper protocol, un- got- improper protocol done, and the motherfucker get off. How many times we done seen it? Like, don't give them the reason, bro, because they going to make up some kind of rule to get their people. It's their people. How many people we done seen get off? They get off all the time. They kill all us the all the time, bro. They, they kill us in front of us all the time. They can play with and get the fuck they can turn them off. They do everything. Let's not even put ourselves in that situation, bro. Hey, man. Don't do it. Don't, it ain't worth it, bro. Like, somebody, the crackers going to kill. They want to kill us. Somebody got to be the Indian over the hill. You know what I'm saying? All right. First one over, I'm probably just glad the first he got one out dead. Like, so, somebody got to be the Indian it's over there. Like I'm just glad nothing happened to it, bro. Somebody got to be the Indian. Somebody got to be. Somebody got to be the nigga that say, uh, 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 somebody. That's uh, real. Somebody got to be the nigga say, hey, your cowboys over there, goddamn. Nah, man. <laughs> why? Why? Just send a nigga over there to scout it. Don't send him over the hill. <laughs> so, hey, 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 it's cowboys send over there. Send him to the top of the hill so yeah. he can move. Don't send him over that bitch. Hey, he ain't gonna tell you that. They ain't gonna be able to come back and tell you that shit. They catching that first arrow. Let Boom, the nigga just yeah, we know it's, over that bitch. Throw something over there. We know it's gonna, cowboys over there, then, goddamn it. He's gonna roll down <laughs> hey. two feet. And I nah, that's all I'm saying, though, bro. They wrong, but let's not. They want to kill us. Let's let's not give them the ammo to, to, to fire the gun. I feel that. That's all I'm saying. I got you. Uh, my nigga C now, my nigga C now has been getting real big, big progress. You know what I'm saying? Not motion, but progress. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, dog. Make sure I had to, I had to get my dog in here. You know what I'm saying? First off, we've been trying to uh, get you in here since for a while. See you at the battle. You was chilling at the battle and shit, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, man. Bucci, man. Me. Shout out to Bucci. Shout out to Bucci. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, he invited me out, and um, I've been, you know, we we go way back. We mm-hmm. go way back. So, yeah, I went see y'all out there. I'm doing y'all thing. Hey, man. I don't, I don't know if y'all know. Uh, tell them what your uh, what your social is. It's at uh, 
at senile Yo. c-e-e-n-y-l-e you just had a new uh well i don't know if it's a new track Everything's senile. yeah Bunch of niggas say they wanna get signed, but they stay in the agenda. We ain't gotta fake it with me. Uh oh. You got Shaquille O'Neal on there. I don't need pants back. Oh, uh, that's the one with Shaq on there. We ain't gotta fake it with me. Kinda like a female Kodak, you know? Even if you don't make it, I'ma still ride with you. Get up off your ass if you really want a profit I'm just trying to win, I don't see another option Niggas getting mad about another nigga pockets Watching another nigga process And oh, damn dog, why you always in my wallet? Niggas make you hate them and I'm feeling like a Nazi Say it with your chest, we can go and get your box And the love turn to hate, I can feel it in my soul So man, yeah man, you know a little hate. Yeah, Shaq on stuck with that one. Yeah. Right. What's the process of you uh, uh getting on some shit like that, man? You, like for people who don't know, like you've been grinding for a while. If y'all, like I said, y'all ain't seen she been on here before. Her story is is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but you still grinding and getting to this point too. It's still getting motion, dog. Like, what's the process of you getting on here? Um, so I don't know. So I feel like. I be I be I be putting everything in the higher pipe in the how higher powers hand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think it was as far as that process with Shaq, that was like a God thing, I feel mm-hmm. like, because mm-hmm. I was just sitting in my office and um I had been following the platform, you know what I'm saying, but I wasn't really tuned in because you know life be life and man, I, I got bills, I got, you know, shit going on, so shit I be moving. But um, I was in my office, I seen they was live, and I followed KO, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I followed Shaq, I followed the whole, and the, and the, and the tournament is called Who's Fire, it's um, a platform presented by Shaq, and KO, KO is his engineer, you know, Shaq do so much, He's, he do so many things, he's mm-hmm. such a, he an entrepreneur, but DJ. He, he DJ, he, you know, he got the businesses, he got all this stuff going on, he a superstar with the Basketball Hall of Fame, all that, so, you know, I'm looking and going live, and he like, well, get on the YouTube. That's what the live at. So they like seeing your music in, whatever. I seen my music in, and then like on some real shit. Like I sat on that bitch for like two hours waiting on them to play my song. Mm. And then the song I sent, I wasn't even that wasn't even the song I wanted to sing. But you know, that's how God works. So mm. I waited like two hours, man. And then next thing you know, he was like, man, we this shit fire, man. We finna give you a golden ticket to the finals. Like, we ain't got to go against nobody else. Mm. Quality. And, like, KO, like, he don't play. Like, he a real deal. He Shaq engineer, so he real. Like, his ear is, like, real keen to the sound. And, like, if your shit ain't right, he going to let you know. Like, and he going to, it's brutal. Like, he ain't. So, I am I ain't, I wasn't expecting nothing from it. But he was like, man. You will go like we we gonna go that's ahead and just you know you know so I was like yeah that's that big shark shit you know what I'm saying so we in there man and I just got through the first round and you know, round two coming up I'm gonna keep everybody posted on that but yeah, yeah. it's lit you know what I'm saying Shaq Shaq actually got online like he said he's like I got the sound like he was like he was like see now I got that sound so you know that's just a big that's major for me this man I've been in the studio with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Mm. Damn. That's, you know, that's crazy. So yeah. So what keep giving you that drive to keep going though? Like you know what I'm saying, you've been in this thing for a while. And you always been fire, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't <laughs> So it's crazy because I remember you were with the nigga Burner, you know what I'm saying? Man, look, I'm talking about being grinding, being putting in work, being setting the ball. You know, and a lot of niggas won't say it out loud as far as the city is concerned, but I, you know, once I realized it's bigger than the city, you know, it kind of that's what kind of changed the perspective for me. So it's like what keep me going is just the fact that I got people in Africa, Europe, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. Canada, Alaska, you know, hitting me up. You know, I'm on. They want me to download WhatsApp on my phone <laughs> so I can talk to them and Facetime yeah. them, and mm-hmm. they learning how to speak English from listening to my music. Mm-hmm. You know. That's- they That's over crazy. there throwing up everything I'm throwing up. They represent everything I'm representing <laughs> just because, you know. 
So, like, I mean, I feel like that's, that. I, it took me nine years to get my passport because of my record, and I finally got my passport. So, mm. you know, so like, hey, you. I'm, I'm going to yeah, get over there and, and rock out. You heard me? Damn, that's dope. I man. need euros in the end. I need all that. <laughs> you heard me? Mm, that's, that's a fact. fact. That's a fact. But yeah, that's but fact. that's why I do it, man. That's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. Uh, and as far as, like, you and the team is concerned. Like, uh, what's the plan for the Sharks? You know what I'm saying? To keep them going on. Shit, right and now. And the whole rest of the team. Right now, like, you know, um, you know, BSC Shark and Baby Shark, he doing his thing. He dropping back to back, you know. Um, we got Janita Deshaun. She dropping back to back. Um, like I said, Amir, she doing the Christian thing. Um, and, you know, me and then Phil, you know, he kind of, he kind of, he kind of ducked off right now, but you know he's still on deck, um, and 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 that's why I said I took the initiative to just go ahead and just go ahead and do my thing and, and really put myself out on the forefront because everybody be like, well, you always going behind everybody else, and like I sacrifice my my whole thing. I could, you know, I could yeah, have a lot going on team, and really have my toenail in the door and kind of get my leg in, but I. I put it on hold because I, I believe in my people so much, mm -hmm. you know. But at the same time, it's like I've learned that just from going over to the West Coast and going to, like, different areas and dealing with a lot of industry reps, and they'll tell me, like, see now, we see what you're doing. I understand it, but we really, I, I, I got in tune because of what you're doing. So I need, I need to see you. I need to, you know what I'm saying? And I be like feeling some type of way because I want to be, I want my people with me. I want my people on, you know what I'm saying? But once you get in certain areas and certain rooms and certain circles mm. and sitting at certain tables, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if they requesting me, I got to present that. I got to make sure that's what they, if that's what they want, I got to get to them. So that's why I've been like going so hard. And making sure I'm on these platforms where, you know, okay, y'all know I'm serious. I'm really done. I'm investing in myself. I'm out here on the forefront. I'm doing this thing. So, mm. you know, so it's like, you know, the team going on. Everybody, anybody who know me and been knowing me, man, I will tell you, we've been rocking since, I've been rocking since I came home. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? He was one of the first, first studios I recorded in. I was his first client. Man, I've made it happen. Man, I made it happen. Man, Way made back in 2010. You hear me? So, you know, it, it, it just started a whole domino effect to where, where I'm at now. Like, sometimes I look, I be like, damn, I, people be telling me what I accomplished or stuff I've done, and I be like, damn, because I don't be, I don't even be thinking about it. It's just another day at the office for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that's what just keep me doing this shit, bro. I don't know if y'all got questions, but I just keep getting in here, bro. I'm going to keep going. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get my thing, another one thing, before y'all go. Uh, what do you think is, uh, it's like fucking up like Jacksonville rap culture into getting out to where it's supposed to be at? You know what I'm saying? Because you got like real lyrical music and, you know, it's other people. Like I see even people that don't even be giving Young Cash the, uh, the proper respect that he deserved for being even like the one of the first niggas from Duval who's been who, who got on, you know what I'm saying? Like what do you think is like stopping Jacksonville from getting united and getting that uh that push that we deserve? You really want me to say it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I feel like niggas I think Shout out, man! I've made it happen, man. Everybody want to be superstars, bro. Everybody think they superstars. Mm. The DJs, some of the videographers, like everybody that can make a difference and kind of like get together and do this whole thing, like other cities and other states are doing. We can't never get there because as soon as people start getting little shout outs in the club and and start getting a little recognition or getting a little coochie or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It, they 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 turn into a whole different person. Yeah. It's like you can't do business at that point, and it's like it's really you, you don't want to. It's it's you gotta you gotta you gotta keep it business because it's like the city. It's like we don't got niggas that I got signed. True enough, 
But I sit at tables, dog. And a lot of niggas still be looking at Jacksonville like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and it's not, and it's no disrespect. I don't take it as disrespect because I understand because the people that, it's, it's a lot of people that are in position or were in position that could have did certain things or could have put certain people in certain positions, right. but they made choices, dog. Yeah, and those choices got us where we at right now to the point where now it's like, niggas like, oh, everybody talking about killing niggas in the song and it's all drill and it's, and that's true. But y'all kind of let that do that. True. You know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of co-signed that shit to, you know, y'all thought it was cute. Kept playing Until it. Until niggas really started dying and, you know what I'm saying? And whoop, whoop, whoop. And so it's not like, from a business perspective, when you're looking at these labels, you're a liability, dog. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So me, I, I've been around for a few generations of this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, you know, I feel like that's what the, the city got the problem at. And we be co-signing a lot of bullshit because of who certain people are or who they sign with or who they hang with or who their mama and daddy is. And all this fuck shit, instead of just being real and, and letting them people know, even if you don't put it on blast in the public, pull them to the side and say, hey, man, you was kind of wrong when you did that or you made that move or, damn, bro, you 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 doing this, you flying in on private jets, man. You should be doing more, man. You should be doing something for the kids. You should be. But niggas don't do that, man. Niggas just be letting all kind of shit go on. But that's a whole other topic. <laughs> so, you hear me? So from based on what you're saying, it seems like it's a big-ass politic game. Exactly. So, if we was to put all that aside and kind of had the, the leaders, the biggest people come together, do you think we could form a movement just as big as Atlanta and Jacksonville? We're supposed to be bigger than all these people, man. Damn. But it's the politics. We're behind, though. We, we still like six to eight years behind. Mm. That's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's how crazy. that shit. It's it's just wild how uh, like people won't put the politics aside long enough to see the bigger picture down the road. Everybody want to be the man. Everybody want to be that guy. And it's like if you just nobody supposed to know who the boss. Because everybody's supposed to look like mm. they got it. But see, that ain't this generation. Like that ain't what it is. Like it's. I mean, it's you supposed to see something. It's one group of niggas here doing that moving like that right now and that's why they winning shout out to Dumont 1k man he just got signed man with shout out to Dumont 1k 6312 man salute man local lows that's my nigga that nigga pulled me to he he put he got on camera man see now my favorite rapper. i've been listening to you since i was nine years old i'm like what you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. real shit i'm like damn am i like old oh, but <laughs> no, that's a fact. but nah but much respect they really move like a real business like salute them boys, hard head fat, all them hard head dog, all them boys over there, they doing it. And that's why them boys making it happen over there. Like salute, mm -hmm. big salute them boys. That's a fact, man. And if everybody had kind of like that mentality when you don't even know who the boss, you don't know who really running what, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just kind of moving, it's, it's family based. Mm. And I mean, everybody who know me, I always, niggas you see me with 40, 50 people, 200 people. We all got the same thing on. We 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 in unison. We military. You already know what time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's not like that no more. It's a whole different. You know what I'm saying? But salute to them boys because they doing that for real. Um, got anything coming up? Got a lot coming up. <laughs> got a lot coming up. I just dropped the shark tape too. It's um seven song little EP. Mav told me I, I need it. I put it was too short. And mm. then what you say, Mav? The shark tape. You said I needed what three more songs. He said he told my man, "Damn, you can't tease a nigga like that." <laughs> but yeah, I just dropped the shark tape. Um, so that's on all platforms right now. Um, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, cause you know. Uh, I had to speak on some stuff, man. You know, this sharp movement. Now, you know, I did an interview with y'all like two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been screaming this sharp shit since, since like 2019. And not everybody want to be a shark now. Like, mm -hmm. niggas was goats. Niggas was jumping off the porch. 
jumping. You know what I'm saying? They was apes. They was slimes. They was snakes. Now everybody want to be a shark. And I'm, I'm, you know, it's it's all good and whatever. But you know, <laughs> understand what that shit. This is a lifestyle. Like we we speak in shark lingo. This is shark lifestyle, man. It's a real movement. Like so, you know, we we when 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 niggas be out here screaming they sharks and big sharks and all that. You know that shit gotta make sense. And, and you know we got to tap in. You heard what I'm saying? So yeah, but you know other than that, I got a lot going on, man. Um. Bucci, like I said, he finna do his last event. November 23rd, I'm in the building. I'm yep. performing live. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be out there. You know, we whole lot of shark shit going Shouts on. Shout out to BBA and Bucci and Shout everybody. Shout out to the BBA. Everybody you know what I'm doing saying? their thing over there. Definitely. The, the rap? The, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to go to Battle rap, right yeah. Yeah, I want to go. My first one was the last one. That was my first one. Yeah, she was the. Yeah, I had a good time with that shit. You got something coming up? Nah, man, just be looking out for the more reports. Make sure you tap in with King Talk Podcast. That's about it, bro. Key. Nothing much. Just another week. Um, hoping to get some more Lego sets. That nigga so cool. <laughs> that's that how, that's why so her name cool. cool ass Key. We got to hang out, <laughs> I, I need some of that energy for real. Because yeah. it's, it's, it seems like you got a lot of peace in your life. Yeah. Just be chilling. That nigga, you know, that nigga don't be nobody's right. Nobody's perfect, but it just seemed like you had a, no. a space. You feel what I'm saying? She don't let nobody in. She don't let nobody in. That's why. Who you telling? Uh, far, as far as me is concerned, uh, man, shouts out to my pastor and his podcast that we doing over there. Shouts out to Math Made It Happen, man. Definitely. Uh, yo, Pastor Podcast is top 100 in Apple Podcasts, bro, in the and I say the nation just to be humble, but Math was like, nah, that's the world. Mm. Like, it's the world, like man. it's a Apple podcast, bro. He's like number 69. That's crazy. He's, he's like 68 or 69 in, uh, in, in Christianity, and he's like number 82 in another like religious uh, yeah. thing. So just doing work over that for the kingdom, yeah, bro. That's lit. Got an email from, uh, from, from Apple. Yeah, shit was crazy. But shout out to Pastor Podcast doing this thing, man. Um, shout out to my nigga Dame Doja from Doja's Told Podcast. We still working on trying to get a date for to continue our show that we're doing late nights, uh, Elite Critiques. But we're going to get back on that. Y'all just chill. And we're going to be doing a lot of other things. And if you had a song to get out of here too, off the new, uh, well, it's the Shark Tales, right? Shark, shark, shark tape. tape. The Shark Tape. Which yep. one would it be? Get out of here too. Angel Reese. Angel Reese. <laughs> what made you pick that one? I'm just saying. So, fun fact, that producer, John Boy, who produced this beat, I went to Atlanta with my boy J.E. and shout out J.E. Um, we went to Atlanta um, to do when we did the Off the Porch interview. Yeah. And um, his homeboy, Casey, tapped us in with John Boy. They, they, they go way back. And John Boy is actually the guy who produced a lot of the tracks for Future's uh, Dirty Sprites back in the day. Oh, mm -hmm. A lot of Rocco First Shits. Yeah, Homicide, a lot of them songs. So, yeah, and he was like, yo, he, he heard my shit, and he was just like, uh, pick what you want. And I was like, and that was one of the tracks. So, yeah. And I didn't cuss one time in the song. I know you see now. Gunshot State Podcast. <laughs> hey, if you want to hear our Before Air Banter, our Songs of the Weeks and things of that nature, make sure y'all go to the Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everywhere you get your podcasts. This is the GSPN. Bop. Get shot, then you should know that it ain't no beef.